Starting off with a big time match in our junior heavyweight division. Colby Carino taking on Flip Gordon. There goes the bell and we are less than two weeks away from Hard Times 3, Hard Times in New Orleans. And we now know that Colby Carino, he is going to be going toe to toe with a man he kind of holds in high regard as a hero, as an inspiration. He's taking on Davey Richards, Hard Times 3, November 12th. Ticket information at nwatix.com. You can also get your tickets for Revolution Rumble, our power trip event. It's going to be taking place the next day. And the first time Colby Carino, at 12 or 13 years old, saw Davey Richards wrestle, that's when he knew he wanted to become a professional wrestler. And that's saying something. I mean, coming from the, the child of Steve Carino, that the inspiration actually came from outside of his home. Sure. But now he's in the ring with Flip Gordon. Yeah, Flip Gordon, such an accomplished junior heavyweight, internationally known. High flyer, but great technical skills as well. No doubt. This could really go a bunch of different ways. Could be a real mat classic, or we could I think it'll go both ways. Air. Yeah, it possibly could. As Kobe Carino gets the side headlock, and you can see Jamie Stanley, not just the manager, but also the chief brand officer mm, for okay. Kobe Carino, trying to help improve the Kobe Carino brand. As Kobe Carino strikes out on his own, separating from the fixers. Wants to make a name for himself in this junior heavyweight division. You know he also wants to get another shot at Homicide. Maybe he'll have to take a shot at Kerry Morton, depending on how things go uh, at hard times in New Orleans. I mean, the internet is just a buzz. So excited for us to head to the Big Easy. And we're excited too. Oh. Can't wait to go get there. I am ready to rock. Big matchups, all our titles are going to be on the line. Followed up with a big power trip the next day. Rocking and rolling. Kip up after nice. Kip up here. It's a flip up. Yeah, there you go. Wow, the athletic Kobe ability by Flip Gordon. God, he never ceases to amaze me. It's like it was like made of rubber or something. Gosh. Carino was just lying in wait, got the big drop kick in. Flip Gordon, oh! Drop kick by Flip Gordon. A little more impact with that drop kick, sure. I think. Not for nothing. That's Flip Gordon. Looks to take over in this matchup. Chopped to the chest. Ooh, sends Colby Carino draped over yeah. the second rope that impacted that chop. And at the same time, you got to think Davey Richards, always a student of the game, has to be watching this match with a lot of attention. Oh, a spear! Oh. A spear out onto the floor! Let's go, guys. I need y'all in here. Carino, I'm not sure if he didn't come down hard. And Carino looks like he would be more than happy to get a count-out victory here. And now, a distraction with the referee. Oh, there's Jamie Stanley. Jamie Stanley with a cheap shot. I think uh, Carino faking an injury to his left So that Pinky. Jamie Stanley so could have taken that cheap shot, absolutely, yep. Dragging Flip Gordon over the ropes, knees. Oh, wow. that third one connected to his face. Carino just punishing Flip Gordon. You see Jamie Stanley, the chief brand officer, into the cover. Carino looking for a win. Kick Only out. a two count. This also, crowd coming alive for Flip Gordon. Also on this episode, we're going to see a team war match, the Spectaculars, with Rolando Freeman, the undefeated Rolando Freeman, going up against the Cardonas. What an impression he's made here since debuting in the NWA, right? I mean, just really taking the internet by storm. Sure. Winning the hearts and minds of everybody. From that big match at NWA 74, defeating Matt Cardona. Not once, but, but twice. Now twice. He wants to continue to take on the biggest names and the biggest contenders. Could I say he's the newfound hero of the NWA? Uh, you know what? You certainly can. By, by silencing, uh, well, based, not really silencing Cardona, but you know, putting on him in his place. Your opinions of Cardona, which are my opinions oh. as well. Yes. You definitely think Rolando Freeman is quite the hero here in the NWA. And Colby Carino flipping Senton. Cover by Colby. Kick out. No, Cover by Flip pin. Springboard into the sling blade. A ton of impact there, but Flip Gordon, he needs time to recover. 
from the savage beating at the hands of Carino. Last time we saw Flip Gordon had a, a loss to Odinson. Looking to bounce back, Odinson obviously having some issues between him and Nick Aldis. Starting to boil over here in the NWA. Jamie Stanley still looking on. Both men trading blows. It is a slugfest. Flip Gordon getting the upper hand. Just what he needed, but Carino shuts him down again. Yeah, Carino was lying in wait, looking for something big. Oh, here, wait, oh European flip. uppercut. European uppercut, the back elbow from the flip. unreal. The unreal Flip Gordon. Ooh, he dodges that, that one. like that is unreal. Oh my gosh, I'm always so impressed by the... The arsenal of moves I see from Flip Gordon every single time. He can attack you every which way from any angle. Looking for a vertical suplex. Go behind, goes Carino. And again, a moonsault! Beautiful. Slingshot Cover. moonsault, kick out! That was effortless. No was. wasted motion he, in that moonsault. He makes it look so easy, like anybody could do it. Such a skilled junior heavyweight in Flip Gordon. So happy to see him here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Definitely. Up on the shoulders, Carino. Steamroller, that Finley roll, and now Flip Gordon looking to win this race, but oh. Carino was right there. Carino was right there, and a backstabber. The knees into the back. Covered by shoulders Carino. down, kick out. And now Carino, he said if it worked the first time, he's going to do it again. Off of Gordon. Looking for that flipping center, but. Back to his feet. To, yeah, cut him off at the pass. And now Colby Carino in a very precarious position, seated on top of the turn, or the post, I should say. Yeah, you don't see that a lot. Yeah, well, Men positioned tried, on the top of yeah, the post. trying to. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh, oh Very God. dangerous oh spot my here. Gosh. Very dangerous spot. Oh my God! Immediately into the cover. This is gonna be it. Flip for oh, no kick way. out. Kick out by Carino. What a way to start off an episode of NWA Power. Joe, how did he kick out of that? The height. That just goes to show the the intestinal fortitude of Carino. Drop kick takes Flip Gordon right out of the air. Spin it through. Shoulders down, big move there. Oh, oh kick out, second kick, kick out. out by Flip Gordon. And now Carino going to Jamie Stanley. What do I need to do? What do I need to do to win this match? Put Flip Gordon away. Head to hard time Gordon gets to his feet. Oh, but look at that. Oh, the kick. The kick connects. Flip Gordon now out onto the apron. Who knows what be go what, what are we going to oh, see no, we, now? We Joe. already saw the belly to belly off the off the very top rope. Flip Gordon. Oh my gosh! And look at Jamie Stanley. Jamie Stanley up on the apron. Distraction was Gives just Carino enough. Gives the advantage over Flip. Oh, up on the shoulders. Ooh! Look at the Colby. Oh crush. my gosh! Avalanche. Colby Crush. Oh, wow. got him. And the winner of this match is Colby. Colby Carino would have won this match without the help of his chief brand officer, Jamie Stanley. But he has got it done. Big victory over Flip Gordon. And you know Carino, he's always going to be gunning for that junior heavyweight championship. But who's going to be holding it after hard times three? Is it going to be Kerry Morton or is it going to be Homicide? Kerry Morton once again going after that gold. But you know. Congratulations to Colby Carino, but we have a jam-packed episode of NWA Power. Yes. Less than two weeks away from New Orleans. So excited. Less than two weeks away. It's I Joe. It's, it's already we're, got Joe. We're so excited. I know, it's so we excited. Just Joe Galley, it's time, it's time. It's velvet time, baby. <laughs> On this very episode, we're going to be determining the number one contender for the NWA World Tag Team Championships. Will it be the Hawks RE or will it be DSB? I know they're your favorite team. I know who you're going to be cheering for. Yep. We also mentioned a little bit earlier, we've got a big team war match, and we're also going to be determining the first number one contender for the television title. So strap in, folks. Get ready to see wrestling as it's meant to be.
Sky fans joining me at the podium at this time, Chris Silvio Esquire, Jack Dane, and I'm being told that you have some evidence that you wanted to present to everyone here. I don't want to question that, but... Uh... Judge Kyle and ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today my client, Jack Dane, will be exercising his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. And I will present into evidence Exhibit A, a text message transcript between one Mrs. Heather Mayweather and the Dane event, Jax Dane. Dated November 2017. Can we roll the evidence, please? You hijacked my screen? Mrs. Mayweather. Hey, Jax. What's up? Jax Dane. Not much. Just in the gym, slinging iron like I do. Mrs. Mayweather. Lol. I always did like a man who works out more than he should. The Dane event. Lol. Okay. Hey, listen. Want to stop by later for some dinner? I'll be throwing some burgers on the grill. And then it will be an hour after I put the kids to bed before Anthony comes home. So I hope you can help with something. Jack Stain. All right. Mrs. May... Shut up. Mrs. Mayweather. Could you help me screw in this light bulb in the garage that's been out? It's been really hard for me to do it on my own, and I could really just use some help. Now, with this evidence, a reasonable person can only come to one conclusion, and that conclusion is not only is Jax Dane the greatest heavyweight attraction of all time, he's also the greatest attraction in the Mayweather family bedroom. And by the end of this case, I will prove three things beyond a reasonable doubt. Number one, Anthony Mayweather is the biggest coward to ever step foot in an NWA ring. Number two, Jax Dane is the greatest champion in NWA history. And finally, number three, just like your young son, Mason, Mrs. Mayweather also calls Jack's Dane daddy. Hey, what's the gig? Danny deals. Oh, and the lovely candy. Back we got some more deals. Of course, they're all candy approved. How you feeling, candy? How you feeling? How you feeling? This one right here. Remember how quick we sold out of these shirts? These shirts were super, right? The black and gold variant. They're actually almost out again, so you better hurry up. Get to the shop. What's the matter with you? Why not? Look at this. White and silver. That's pretty fresh. What do you think? I like that. Pat, what is it? Well... It ain't that. It ain't that. It's nice and simple. Keep it simple, sweetie. You know why it's simple? Because NWA is wrestling heaven. That's right. Look, I already got to print more of these because you already went crazy. So please bear with me. I got to order some more. What do you think of this shirt, Candy? You like this shirt? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, one more thing. Look at this super nice book the deal machine made. Did you see this? Did you know? I got to put candy in there. We couldn't approve the program if candy wasn't in there. The program's in there, too. If you want to know what the prices are, go to the website. What do you think? Woo! Please welcome NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. Tyrus, the moment is near. You once again have the chance to become NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. How do you feel about it? How do I feel about it? I don't know how I feel about it. I'm nervous, I'm angry, I'm excited. But the biggest thing for me is I have to get 74 out of my head. I haven't talked to my family. I've, I've moved out of my home. I train alone, I live alone because all I see is Trevor beat me 
and 74 because I hesitated. Now I'll be facing two of the greatest in the NWA for 10 pounds of gold and there will be no room for hesitation. There'll be no mistake. I won't pause. When they're down on one knee, I will finish them. And I'm not asking about strategy, of course, but what do you think is the most likely outcome of this match? Pain. Okay. Pain. Um, so I must ask you, you've decided to team up with Trevor in next week's episode of Power against Pope and an opponent to be named. Why did you make that decision? I think the saying is the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Although Trevor Murdoch is clearly not my friend and won't be my friend at the pay-per-view. But I trust him more. I respect him more than Cordona mm -hmm. or even Pope. Because let's not forget what started this party. So Pope and I will always have a misunderstanding. And I don't trust Cordona. He's a snake. Mm -hmm. You turn your back on him, he'll stick it in. Trevor... Although we can't see eye to eye for obvious reasons, I know where I stand with him. He's going to bring his, I'm going to bring mine, and the best man will win. But not Cardona. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Major implications in this matchup here in the NWA arena. The winner to face La Rebellion at Hard Times in New Orleans, at Hard Times 3, who will be the number one contender for the NWA World's Tag Team Championships? Will it be the Dirty Sexy Boys DSP or New Orleans' own Hawks Airy? Well, you know my, ooh, wait a minute. Let me have this moment. Quiet, okay, no, it's over. And just like that. That was, that was fast. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes. Just, he just needs a quick little swivel to get the hips loose. Luke Hawk starting things off with Dirty Dango. DSB, JTG, and Dirty Dango so impressive as a tag team. They've always been right there, right in the title contention. Now they have an opportunity to become number one contenders. Oxary have already challenged for those championships. You may remember NWA 74 were unsuccessful against La Rebellion, but you have to keep in mind, it was Damien Say Say Say, a, a big spray of the miss. It's up and over by Dango. Let it go. The, there they go. There's that hip gyration. All right. All right. It's not all fun and games, this whole let's get weird thing. I mean, that really gets into the heads of their opponents. Really confuse them. See where oh, that are sunset come flip from. can't get Dangle off his feet. Oh, hold on! Able to fight Ooh. it. He's got all that strength all that in those balance. hips. Balance from all those hip workouts. That's exactly right. It paid off right there. There we go. There we go. Oh, and JTG joining in now. Drops the leg across the throat. Tag is made. In comes Jay the God. Double back elbow, elbow by the DSB. Dropping the butts, dropping the boots. Two count. Hawks area, such an impressive tag team. They want to come into hard times three and battle it out for those tag, tag team championships in front of their families, in front of their home crowd. In the Big Easy, they're going to have to go through the dirty, sexy boys. Caught JTG, oh. double backbreaker. Cover on JTG. One count. DJ Hawks. Going to have to use that mat wrestling skill. And he does, shoots the half, gets the one count. Stays right on top of JTD. Controlling the back, looking for pins. If he stays in control of the back, he's going to be in a really good position. But JTG, such a veteran, so accomplished. Looking to break the hold, just muscle his way out. It's been a hammer lock. Cartwheel escape. Can he get him? Ooh, and he does. Got him. The strength of PJ cover now. Two count. PJ Hawk staying right on top. 
of JTG. Shoots him off, JTG weaves through. Spin it through a big Ooh. pump kick. Beautiful. What a combination. Covered that by is. JTG. Kick out. Dirty, sexy boys. They want to head to New Orleans. They want to party like it's Mardi Gras. They can win this NWA World's Tag Team Championships held by La Rebellion. Tag is made. In comes Dango. Joe, can you just imagine if Hawks Airy wins in front of their yeah, hometown, the, hometown, the stakes being so high? But they gotta get through DSB and then they'd have to get through La Rebellion and they've already fallen to that tag team once before at NWA 74. The tag stakes made. are high for every tag team here in the NWA. JTG, now the legal man with a swivel of the hips. Drops the axe handle. And look at that. Cutting the ring in half. Cover. Kick out. You saw JTG locking eyes with the father, with Luke Cox. Sending a message. And he's going to punish his baby boy, PJ he's got that locked in tight. Look at that bicep. The si I was just going to say, the <laughs> size of the arms. Woo. Like, like a python just squeezing its prey. See the agony in the face of PJ Hawks. He's got to find a way to transition, and he is. Shots to the gut. And JTG just shuts, shuts him right back down. 100% velvet. And PJ going into the corner. Flying hip attack, back elbow. Shoots PJ across the ring. Oh, Nobody back home. To burn, and the tag is made. Tag is made. It comes Luke Hawks. Big back elbow. Luke Hawk just fired up. Spinning heel kick on JTG. Covered by Luke Hawk. Kick out. And you see, oh, that's an early tag. PJ has taken a lot of damage. No didn't time get to recover, didn't right? Get much of a break. Looking for the double hip toss. JTG lands on his feet. Double close line. Wow. Incredible athleticism from Jay the God. Sling blade. Lands PJ Hawks. Who once again did not get very much time to all to really recover Ooh, he gets on the that apron. Boot up. JTG, Bulldog. Going into the cover, shoulders down, and Luke Cox is there to break it up. JTG, wow, just targeting the left shoulder. That went hard into the canvas. Tag is made. Here comes Dango. Sunset flip, shoulders down, kick out. I don't think he locked in that sunset flip as much as he wanted to. Chop to the chest. Shoot, reverse, Dango up and over. Oh, into a sunset pin. Beautiful, that's the sunset pin he was looking for. But now PJ Hawk stacking him up. Another pin attempt. A series of pins now between both men. They're fighting for the win. Crucifix pin there, kick out by PJ. PJ shoots the half, shoulders down. Oh, oh he, he got, got him. him! He got him! The winners of this match, who will be challenging for the NWA World Tag Team Championships at Hard Times New Orleans, Hawks Ari! Joe, that pin out of nowhere. That was just a clinic in catch wrestling from PJ Hawks, simply just out wrestling his opponent, getting that pinfall, locking it in. Heartbreaking loss for DSB, but Hawks are they're heading home, they're heading to New Orleans, headed to Hard Times 3 to take on La Rebellion for the World's Tag Team Championships. Oh, wait oh, a minute, well, what are we gonna see here? Okay. Sign of respect. Now, if I didn't like the DSB already, I really like them now after that. Yeah, they're that. great dudes, great dudes, 100%. All right, we're gonna keep things moving along right now. We're gonna throw things, throw things to Mae Valentine, standing by with Rolando Freeman. Please welcome Rolando Freeman. Rolando, your rise in the NWA has been nothing short of meteoric. What do you attribute to your success? My success? Rolando. I owe it all to Rolando Freeman. Everybody, everybody out there has a little bit of Rolando in them. But it only takes a special, special kind of man to bring out the Rolando. And you're looking at him. Okay. 
What's your ultimate goal here? I mean, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty, pretty dumb question. I mean, the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship, of course. <laughs> Matt Cordona, they call him the Deathmatch King. Well, they're going to be calling Rolando the Big Match King. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Man, I hear it every day. Austin Idol, I want to be a wrestler. Austin Idol, I want to be a manager. Austin Idol, I want to be a valet. Austin Idol, I want to be a timekeeper. Austin Idol, I want to take the ring jackets back. Austin Idol, I want to sit at the desk and be a commentator. How am I going to do it, Idol? How am I going to do it? Help me, Idol. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I am your answer to your question. You want to be in this business. You want to be part, possibly part of the National Wrestling Alliance. You want to be on Fight TV. You want to be on pay-per-views. You want to be a global superstar like Austin Idol. Then you come to my wrestling college, UniversalWrestlingCollege.com. Google it, UniversalWrestlingCollege.com. Sign up, sign up and change your life. Follow your dream. Chase your dream down, man. Do whatever you have to do to reach out and grab that dream and bring it in and make it a reality. You sign up at Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College, I'm going to make you something, brother and sister. Men, women, I don't care. It doesn't make any difference. Professional wrestling needs new faces. They want them now. They want them right now. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't you dare miss it. NWA Wrestling Fans, Kyle Davis here in the Control Center. NWA. Natalia Markova, you pretty, sweet, innocent, alluring little thing. You have unfinished business with the warlord of the wasteland, Max the Impaler. And it's time that we close the lid on it and put the final nail in that coffin. You see, we've done a little research on you, Natalia, and we learned of your crippling fear of the dark as a child. We learned of the soul-crushing trauma you felt as you looked at your beloved babushka in the casket, staring back at you with those empty, soulless eyes. And that's the reason that we are challenging you to a Voodoo Queen casket match at hard times in New Orleans. Pinfalls, countouts, submissions, these things mean nothing in life or death. The only thing that matters is who's in the casket when the lid is shut. And I guarantee you that Max the Impaler, the non-binary nightmare, is going to slowly dismantle you like one of those nesting dolls you played with as a child until they get to the final piece, the child within. And at that point, Maxie Impaler is going to crush you and toss you into that casket, into the darkness, and close the lid on your miserable, wretched career. <laughs> <laughs> the control center this has been kyle davis interesting first accompanied by aaron stevens this is the question mark we got something very unusual in store for you folks a karate Exhibition. This is going to be interesting, huh, Joe? It, it always is when Aaron Stevens I, is involved. I, you took the words out of my mouth. False fun groovy. That's disrespectful. False fun groovy. That's disrespectful. False. No, not false. Do not chant false. 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 And coming to the ring, this is the question mark two. Question mark two, making his presence known ever since we've seen the return of the question mark aligned with Aaron Stevens. Aaron Stevens, of course, a third degree black belt in Mongrovian Karate. Kyle, take it away. 
You are about to witness an exhibition in Mongrovian karate. The beauty and the brutality that is. The audience will be the judges as each man who will be facing each other at hard times three in a mask versus mask match will have their chance to prove why they are the real question mark. Gentlemen, if you can take your corners. Actually, question mark, if you'd like to have the first chance, please show the world what Mongrovian Karate is all about. Shut up! Impressed by that. I don't know. I think it's. There was something missing there. Question mark two. It is now your turn. Question also. Okay, that's a little better. A lot more intensity. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what question mark. I don't, the crowd is judging us, not us, but I think uh, so far, question mark two is ahead on points, and Aaron Stevens is living as normal. At this time, I would also like to thank the Tennessee Athletic Commission for allowing us to have this exhibition as Mongrovian Karate is banned in most countries due to the lethality of the art form. Also, we will be having both of you gentlemen show a heightened level of Mongrovian karate, as well as I'm being told that Aaron Stevens, as the highest form of Mongrovian karate, a triple black belt, you afterwards will also be showing us what you can do. You're shaking your head no. There will be chi being used. He is going to use his chi to knock this paper out of Aaron Stevens' hand. I really don't know what to make of this. I, I, I'm speechless. Right, so speechless. He's going to use his chi. Channeling the chi. Oh, oh come on. Okay, so so Aaron Stevens dropped the paper. Aaron Stevens is making a mockery of Mongrovian karate. He and himself. <laughs> Beautiful. Question mark two, it is now your turn. I wonder what the style will be for question mark two. Will he use chi? I, I, yeah. That had a lot more intensity than whatever uh, that chi yeah, thing was. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think question, question mark, mark two, two is, is I mean, the, he's is stuck the to the fundamentals of Gentlemen, before we go to the audience that will be the judges, Aaron Stevens, it is now your turn. What? Wait a minute, what? Oh my he's gosh. a part oh, of that's this like too? A whole, how long is that? I'm so sorry, Kyle. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and my honor to introduce to you one of the greatest martial artists of the 21st century. He is the only American to earn a third degree black belt in Mongrovian karate. He is a former champion, actor, philanthropist, and humanitarian. Please give it up for Aaron the Shooter Stevens. Oh, crowd loves him. Joe, what are we going to see right here? Uh, I, what? what? Oh. I, I mean, they're, know, they're taking their no ceremonial words. stance behind the master, a show of respect in Mongrovian karate. So much respect in this art form. Sacred form. It is. Which is why I wonder why Aaron Stevens has to make a mockery of it. Oh! A super kick! A super kick to question mark two! Joe, why didn't we see that coming from a mile away? Oh. Why didn't we? Oh, and now, a question mark. Stomping away a question mark two. Crying out loud. How did we not see Savage that coming? Savage down. It's going to be mask versus mask at hard times. New Orleans, hard times three. 
Question mark versus question mark two. Aaron Stevens with a cheap shot. shot. Shot right to the face. Oh, it's Gag Gags! It's Gags the Gimp! Gags the Gimp's coming in for the save. What's Gags doing out here? Don't you got somewhere to be? Don't you got a wall to be chained to? Well, I mean... We mentioned before, we've never even Shut seen up. the face of Gags. And from what we understand, he lives his entire life with that mask. Maybe As he can relate question to question mark. Mark. Oh, and come on! Sal, Sal is your partner! Now. Sal is oh, your partner! No. What are you What's doing, Sal? Sal? Doing? Jo Joe, I am very confused right now. What is Sal going on? Sal the Pell has blindsided Gags the Gip. He is being punished. we got to get control of this situation. We'll be right back. <laughs> For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original, lineal, heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence, as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. Please welcome Kylan King. Kylan, congratulations on another title opportunity. But I must ask you, how do you feel about having Chelsea Green added to this championship match against Camille? Honestly, I'm not even surprised. I'm not surprised that Chelsea got herself involved in this match. What is it that Camille calls her? Pol Politicking Chelsea. Exactly. But I've been in a triple threat with Chelsea before, and I beat her then, and I have no doubt that I can beat her again. And when it comes to Camille, I've studied the tape, I've watched the mistakes I made, and I'm prepared this time. So they can both bring it, but Kylan King is going to walk out the NWA World Women's Champion. And what does it mean to be champion to you? I've spent the last year trying to make everybody in wrestling understand that the name Kylan King is a name that should be taken very seriously. That it is a main event worthy name, that it is a top card worthy name. I've won titles all over the world. I've made statements, but becoming the new NWA World Women's Champion and ending the one-time reign of Camille, that takes me to a whole nother level. That's what it means to me. Nobody in the world will ever doubt the name Kylan King when I make that point. And I wish you the best of luck, Kylan. Thank you. Welcome back to the action inside the NWA arena. Once again, we've got a very special guest, Dr. Tom Welcome. Pritchard. Thanks for having me back, guys. Yes. This is awesome. NWA is really uh, it's making its mark on professional wrestling again. Great to see. I'm so happy you're here. Tim Storm has been so busy being the co-managing director yes. for NWA USA, getting things ready for hard times in New Orleans right around the corner. But we are going into a Team Wars match. Aren't you excited for the yes. Team War? Wow. I know I am. Elimination style. Eliminations happen by pinfall, submission, or being thrown over the top rope. One member of each team, in at a time. If you don't go in, you can be counted out. This is going to be exciting. You don't want to miss it. Let's get to it. The first team in Team Wars is the Cardona family. Brian Myers, VSK, Mike Knox, accompanied by Matt Cardona. Why does Matt Cardona have to be out here for this? Obviously, he's taking a, a sort of a manager position. He's not going to be involved in the Joe, match. He's, we all know by now that Matt Cardona sticks his nose where it doesn't belong. Even though this is the Cardona family, Brian Myers, why are you staring at me? Why? Okay. Sending a message by the Cardonas. Obviously, you got a lot of heat with them. I don't. No, I, I yeah. got a lot. But, but for they my, got a lot of heat with you. They got a lot of heat with me because I speak facts. The truth, 100. percent and the fact is that Matt Cardona wants to challenge for the NWA World's And their Champions. opponents in Team War. Brady Pierce, Rush Freeman, the Spectaculars, and the biggest brother, Rolando Freeman! Rolando Freeman, like I said before, being my new hero here in the NWA, beating Matt Cardona not once, but twice. And I can't wait to see him take it 
to the rest of the Cardona family. I've got to think Ronaldo is a lot of a lot of people's heroes these days. He's beat Matt Cardona, I can't tell you what, three times now. And a lot of people have looked at this kid as a guy to look up to. And a guy that said what's possible is done and what's impossible will be done. And he continues to do the impossible every time he steps in that ring. Oh, absolutely. The spectacular's feeling spectacular. And looking spectacular, Joe. All right, once again, no tags in this match. The other members of the team have to wait on the floor. Eliminations happen by pinfall submission or being thrown over the top rope with both feet touching the floor. Rush Freeman starting things off with this team against Brian Myers. We're getting right into it. The most professional Brian Myers. Is he though? Well, that's what he calls himself, and he's a real tactician mm. of the Cardona family. I don't think anyone in the Cardona family could be called professional. <laughs> yeah, 100%. One thing I can say about the Cardona family is they don't quit, and they keep coming back. You see Matt Cardona on the outside. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure. Keep coming back. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Matt Cardona wants his shot at the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. He wants to go into New Orleans and come out the champion to win back the belt he never goes, lost. Goes for the hip toss, Rush Freeman blocks it. Got a little hip action going on here. Side to side, spectacular style. Rush Freeman with a hip toss of his own. That is the best that we've seen Rush Freeman. He looks great. Ever since teaming with Brady Pearson. I like it, I'm digging it. Side rush leg sweep by Freeman with that little hip swizzle dazzle. Whatever you call it. It's I mean, very it's, spectacular. You think that that's appropriate for a team war match? I mean, yeah, you got to find out. Oh, spare. spare by Myers. Well, that was definitely appropriate. I, I think that that was a big mistake. Oh, my God. God. What a clubbing blow. Rush Freeman. Rush Freeman has been eliminated. All right. It's now three to two. Brady Pierce, fresh man for his team. He's got to take out Brian Myers. Oh, oh no! Went over the top rope! Landed on the apron. Has not yet been eliminated. Gotta get back in the ring. Oh no! The kick! Oh no! It's just Rolando! It's just Rolando! Myers has been eliminated! Hold on a minute. It's just Rolando. Rolando looks concerned. I'm not concerned. I'm actually not concerned. I, I, I have to be concerned. Rolando, I mean, he's undefeated here in the NWA. He's beaten Matt Cardona twice. He but what a monumental team. task. He has to beat the entire Cardona family. Guys, I have faith. He can hold his own. What do you think, Dr. Tom? I got to tell you, this kid has really got a lot of heart. He's got a lot of fight in him. But he's, he really, the odds are stacked against him as they have been the last few weeks here. It's a good sunset. Oh, they're stacking play. him up. This could be the first ice grab on the rope. Oh, the ah! Shoulders are down. Sunset flip. Oh, elimination. Elimination. Brian Myers has been eliminated. See what I mean? This is exactly what I mean. He's the underdog. And watch your back, because here comes VSK. Oh, the knee strike. And it just might be a matter of time now. VSK going after Rolando. It only takes three seconds to get beat in this match, but you have other ways you can win. And being thrown over the top rope, what might be a disqualification some places, is an advantage right here. VSK dragging Rolando by the hair. Rolando Freeman. Oh, and look at this, Joe just choking oh my him. Gosh. Just choking the life out of him. VSK could get disqualified too, he's gotta be careful. And Rolando, oh look at it, he just got VSK! Oh, he got VSK! VSK has been eliminated! Oh, he comes oh, no, 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 oh, oh my god, just got destroyed! Destroyed by Mike Knox! I still have all the faith in the world in Rolando Freeman. He's the he's, underdog, He's wrestling he, a man who's literally three times his weight! It doesn't three matter. Three times the size! I have all the faith in him. All the faith in him. He has proved since he's come to the NWA oh, that he is wow. a credible After, contender. Oh, just dumping him. Just dumping him. He's a credible contender in any match versus any man, any woman, any size. You know what they say, it ain't the fight, the, the, the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Absolutely. And it, yeah, Rolando's got all the fight in the world. He's up, of, against, he's up against a huge man in Mike Knox. Speaking of dogs, you've got Matt Cardona just barking orders at, again. Oh, wow. the impacts coming down so hard on that mat. Gravity is not the friend of Rolando Freeman right now. Mike Knox 
Got to give it to Armando. So Armando's strong, ball. so powerful. Never backs down. Think about the, the times Mike Knox is like taking on guys like Trevor Murdoch and like brought Trevor Murdoch to the limit. I mean, Mike Knox is a, a monster of a man. No doubt about oh, it, no, Velvet. No, you no, got to no. have Again. faith, but at the same time, Mike Knox is powerful and he's almost oh, no. invincible. He's going to launch him. He's going to launch him. That's he's going to launch him into the crowd. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't. He's going to launch him on this side. Look at the smile, look at the smirk on the face. Sick. That's that's a sadistic man. Oh. DDT! Blast him! Blast him with the DDT! <laughs> Get the cover! Come cover on, the pin! Oh, no. uh, come on! Cover! Come on, Unbelievable. just Unbelievable, unprecedented. Matt Cardona is losing his mind. Rolando, pulling at the bow tie. Okay, Rolando, we see you. We see you, buddy. The spectacular swivel of the hips. Side to side, but that didn't do any favors to Rush Freeman here earlier go, in the here match. We go, here we go. Oh, the, boot, the boot to the face. Oh, wow. Cover. Oh, could this be uh, wow. it? Wow. Could he no get way. it? No way. Oh, Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona. Oh, pulled Jared Fritz out. It's Chelsea of Green. Of it's Chelsea Green. No, not like that. No, no not like that. Pretty. That's it. Jared Fred did here. not see it. Get out. He did not see Get it. Get out. Oh, if I ever get my hands on you. Oh, no. It's over. Chelsea Green putting her finisher on Rolando. Yeah, Cinderella yeah, Dream is it's done. Over. It's, it's it. turned into a nightmare. Oh, oh, he's alive. He's oh dead alive. God. Cardona can't believe it. His plans backfired. Oh, Guys, but Mike I Knox. thought that was it. Mike Knox. He's gonna let him have it now. Rolando into the buckle. Oh, Smashing. Smushes him in the corner. Oh, no, no, this not is this. It. Not the big quote, not the choke slam. No, 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 no. Oh, it was Taking nice. him up. It's over. Oh, my gosh. Rolando. Oh, no. No, buddy, kick. Oh, come on, just end the match. Just end the match no, already. I don't want the match to be over. I want Rolando to come back he's somehow, beat. some way. I'm sorry, no. Velvet, he's beat. No, he's not. It's over. No, it's not. I don't know too many people that can last like this. I really, really don't. Come on, Rolando. I know he's got the, the heart of a champion, but there's no way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Picking him up. Come on. Oh, the head scissors. Head oh, my God. God. Oh, You completely proved me wrong, Velvet. Unbelievable oh. win. Matt Cardona slipping. Matt Cardona slipping. Rolando with another big victory over the Cardonas. Congratulations, Rolando and the Spectaculars. What a roll. Yes, what a Rolando. roll this kid is on. Yes, Rolando. Yes. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. Wow. Wrestling fans, Saturday, November 12th, NWA Hard Times in New Orleans comes to you live on pay-per-view. See NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch defend the 10 pounds of gold against Matt Cardona and New Orleans' own Tyrus. NWA World Women's Champion Camille puts her title on the line against Kylan King and Chelsea Green. EC3 faces Tom Latimer. Nick Aldis battles Odinson. Junior Heavyweight Champion Homicide goes one-on-one -on -one with Kerry Morton. Also scheduled to appear, NWA World Tag Team Champions La Rebellion. Max the Impaler, Luke and PJ Hawks, The Hawks RE, and many more stars of the NWA. Hard Times 3, live on pay-per-view, Sunday, November 12th. Tickets and information available at nwatix.com. Order on Fight Today and watch it from anywhere on your streaming devices. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. Ricky Morton stomping on the left foot of Jay Bradley. Reverse into the buckle. Captain Power slam by Jay Bradley on Ricky Morton as he makes the cover. Oh, oh he we got, got him! The winner of this match, Jay Bradley! It is main event time here on NWA Power. Less than two weeks away from 
Hard times, New Orleans. Hard times three, baby. And how excited are we? Oh. Unbelievable. And what a three-way match we have going on here with Big Strong, Mims, Gustavo, and Judas. These guys are incredible. Big stipulation here with this matchup. Whoever wins this triple threat match will be the de facto number one contender and be the first challenger to the newly crowned television champion. That will either be AJ Kazana or Jordan Clearwater. I think they're At trying hard to, times three, baby. They're trying to get Judas to swivel his hips, but he is not trying to hear it. I don't think he's not amused it's at all. It's been a swivel full episode. I'm down of with it. Power. I dig it. Judas the dirty, just, sexy boys, the spectaculars, and now Gustavo. You know it is wrestling. <laughs> True. And, and sometimes you got to get to business. Ooh, two pie faces for Gustavo. He's not very happy about that. Big strong Mims can't take Judas off of his feet with a shoulder tackle. Gustavo looking for the schoolboy roll up. Nice attempt, though. I mean, that's the priest of punishment you're dealing with. Six foot five, 300 pounds. Oh, rolled up Mims. Mims into the into the ropes though. Whoa. Whoops. Oh, and a boot. A boot from Judas. Mims, you got to help yourself now. <laughs> Trying to break the big man down by repeated kicks to the leg, but it's not seeming to phase Judas in the least bit. I think it's just making him more angry. Well, Judas is an angry man to begin with, and anytime somebody with Gust uh, Gustavo's personality wants to come out and dance and hand out roses, I don't think she's going to get over with that. Yeah, that's a great a point. like that, yeah. Great point, yeah. Launch with a fallaway slam, but Mims has made his way back into the ring. Judas getting to his feet. Mims just looking to meet a man-to-man -man center of the ring. Mims never shows fear. Ooh. What a strong forearm to the side of the face. Wow. Mims has had opportunities at the television championship twice against Tyrus. Both times obviously unsuccessful. One time sending him to the hospital for several days, putting him in a wheelchair. For Mims, it's all about redemption. It's all about getting that television title to prove something to himself and to prove something to the fans that he is a championship caliber athlete. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, I've been watching Judas for a while now, and this big man has come a long way. He's made improvements in his body, he's made improvements in his technique, and he's a force to be reckoned with no matter what happens. Definitely, no doubt. Gustavo oh, caught mid-air. By both men. Oh, and a DDT, oh, wow. a DDT, looking for the cover. Shoulder down, Judas is right there to break things up. Smart thinking. And you know who's got to be watching this with a lot of intent? is AJ Kazana, Jordan Clearwater. Those two men went to a time limit draw in the finals of the tournament to determine the television champion. So that match has been moved. It's been rebooked. We're having it at the pay-per-view. Hard times, New Orleans. Hard times, three. Tickets on sale. All the information at nwatix.com. Get your tickets for the pay-per-view and for Revolution Rumble the next day. I think everybody should have their eyes on this match because these three men have potential and these three men are all looking to get a shot at the television championship. And Velvet, I gotta ask you this, who is your pick to be the next television champion? Will it be Jordan Clearwater or AJ Kazana? My pick would be AJ Kazana. Ha ha! Well, I, we I, seem surprised. I, 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 no, I, don't, I, I really don't seem surprised. I, I, I seem to, a little bewildered because I got to look at, at Jordan Clearwater as well. The guy's really worked out hard. He's, he is, he's another fella come to the NWA to make a name for himself. Yeah, but Dr. Tom, not to interrupt you, he is a part of Idol Sports Mania, and I'm not a fan at all. Gotcha. For, for, for obvious reasons. Uh, more of a, more of a not, personal choice, it's, personal well, it's preference. More a, well, well, no, because it's not to take away from the worth at, work ethic from AJ Kazana as well, because he has made a great impression since coming oh, to the what? NWA. But, you know, he fights fair, and Jordan Clearwater does not. So uh, Sometimes fighting fair doesn't always get you a win. This yeah. is true. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> this yeah, is true. Yeah, do what you, you have to do. You asked me my win. pick, yeah. though, and then. <laughs> 
That's quite all right, but there's a great amount of competition looking to get that television championship. And right now, Judas, as I said, he has really escalated his game. He looks the part. He wants to be a champion here, and he's doing everything in his power. Even Every fighting the forehead yes. of Mims. Choking on the ropes is not okay. It's okay if it gets you a victory. Gustavo fighting from underneath, but not Judas even bring it on. It's not even phasing Judas. If anything, it's just motivating him. They don't call him the priest of what are they? Priest of punishment, priest of pain. Yeah, priest, priest My of God, punishment. Priest of everything. Looking for a crucifix. Boom! Oh. Mims putting the brakes, kick to the cut, sends Judas into the corner, full head of steam, runs into the back elbow. Gustavo again looking to fly high here at the NWA Arena. Oh, and just barely a glancing blow to the arm of Judas. Gustavo came from above and got the desired effect. Oh, oh, oh got caught. Oh, but Mims was there. Mims was there with a big splash. And now he's feeling a little common. Oh, clothesline. Looks Mims like he went for a double clothesline. Mims, Mims was able to him dodge up. it. Oh, was not able to slam him down. The choke slam. Choke slam. Oh, Mims has been flattened. This match is over. Judas will be the number one contender. Oh, but Gustavo oh. was right there. Gustavo Aguilar. Breaking up the pin, going for the sleeper hold. Trying to put the giant to sleep. You talk about heart. Here's another guy, Gustavo with heart. He won't stop, he won't give up, and, and he knows he has an opportunity here in the NWA, and he's gonna give it all he's got and not gonna waste it. Priest of punishment. Oh, goes Whoa. over the top rope. Down Lands to the hard. Floor. Lands hard on the concrete floor. Here's big strong Mims. But Gustavo trying to go for the sliced oh, bread. Ooh, got Locked. shut down by Mims. Was looking for sliced bread, but Mims was able to block. Ah. Mims is fired up. He's got him right where he wants him. Will we see it? Big, strong oh, slam. Cover by Into Mims. Into the cover. Will you guys make it to break it up? No. The winner of this match, Mims. Mims has just become the number one contender for the NWA. Television Heavyweight Championship. But who will he face? Will he face Jordan Clearwater or AJ Kazana? You'll find out at Hard Times New Orleans. Hard Times 3 coming up November 12th. Order the pay-per-view now on Fight TV. Buy your ticket if you're in the New Orleans area because it's going to be rocking in the Big Easy. Thanks so much for joining us for Power. We'll see you this Saturday for USA Surge.